Hey everyone, for our final project here, we created a shopping cart application. Uh, upon loading up, this is the form that you do see where we have the username and password and the different access types. If you click on the register button, it will allow you to register a new user or a seller. Now for demonstration purposes, we already have some users created, so we'll go ahead and log in. Uh, here, we'll just do a seller. And for example, if we were to do uh, an invalid entry here, we do, we do have validation. So use seller, login. Here we're able to create new items and um, we'll do that for this purposes here. So uh, iPods, uh, I don't know, $150, $50.52. We have a quantity of six available, uh, electronic. We create the item. And if we come here into the existing items, we see the items here that we have available for sale. But let's say for this example, we actually have uh, 10 units. We no longer have this item uh, for sale. And we actually have 100 units of this. We're able to update the inventory dynamically on this screen here, uh, which is very efficient. So we'll go ahead and log out and actually log in as a user, or a buyer, that is. The buyer sees the same information that uh, the seller does, but on their side, they're not able to modify anything, but they're able to add items to their cart. So in this case here, uh, let's go ahead and close this out. Uh, first, we'll look at the cart. There's nothing here. Let's go back to keep shopping. We're going to add one item to the cart. We're going to add five of these items here. And let's go back to this cart and we'll see that this was updated. Uh, in this case now, we'll go ahead and check out. And we get confirmation, inventory is updated. And if we go back to the admin side, we do see uh, the items that were sold uh, uh, at, that, at that time for that seller, for that user.